our gospel text. See that you, not, you do not despise one of these little ones, for I tell you that in heaven their angels always see the face of my Father who is in heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. No angel acts of his own accord. St. Michael and all angels, none of them act apart from the will of God. Not one of them. So when we think of St. Gabriel, who came down to Mary, of course, we know that God the Father sent the very word of God. As we talked about in Sunday school this morning with the adults, Mary became pregnant by hearing the word of Gabriel. It was not, as one of our members pointed out, when she said, let it be done unto me. Rather, as soon as she heard the word of Gabriel, she became with child. When she became with child, Christ's mission began. Of course, by mission, I mean that once he was in utero, he was heading to the cross. And from the cross to the grave, and from the grave to resurrection, ascension, and he will come again to judge both the quick and the dead. Gabriel did not act alone. Gabriel was not a wily angel who despised the word of God and came down to do his own thing. It's just not what happened. God the Father, by his word, sent the holy angel to Mary. Not all angels seem to have the wherewithal that Gabriel has. Satan himself, an angel, desired the throne of God for himself. And so he warred with one of the greatest angels of all, St. Michael, the archangel. The same angel who watches over us, the same angel who fights for us both day and night against the devil in this world. See, we have protectors. There can be no doubt about that. We call them guardian angels because that's about the best we can do to wrap our heads around it. I think angels, archangels, and all the company of heaven has a better ring to it, but we have angels. And St. Michael, one of the greatest, was tasked to fight one of the most despicable, Satan himself. St. Michael would fight the angel, but not of his own accord. He was sent by God, by the very word of God the Father, St. Michael went into battle, then fought tooth and nail against the devil. And speaking of tooth and nail, in some of the greatest pieces of art of all time, studied and analyzed, there is one image that keeps coming up of St. Michael over and over and over. And it's something that we can learn Every time, almost every time that you see St. Michael over the devil, he has his spear in the mouth of the devil. Directly in his mouth. And in many cases, his spear is piercing the tongue of the devil. Some people would look at that and say, that's gross. But in reality, what St. Michael is doing is he stopping the lies of the damnable foe. He spears the devil in his tongue and in his mouth so that he cannot whisper the lies into our ears. He destroys the lies of the devil, but he does not act alone. He acts according to the word of God. Spear the devil, subdue him, so that my people will not be overcome by him. And so, again, he does not act alone, but by the word of God. God the Father sins, angels act. So if we have any doubt or any wondering about angels who are around us, know that they are not simply just around waiting to pick up your mess. Rather, they're sent directly to protect you, to love you, to care for you, to be there for you. 
That's what angels do. That's what St. Gabriel did. That's what St. Michael did. It's what they continue to do. St. Gabriel, the great herald. St. Michael, the great piercer of the tongue of the damnable foe. But again, we keep coming back to the Word. The Word of God the Father sent. And then, we see our Gospel text. The Word of God was not in the minds of the disciples when they asked who will be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Because Christ, as He does very often, turns the question completely around and answers the question that He wants to answer, not the one that was asked. And He calls a child to Him and He points to the child and He says, unless you become like one of these children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. So not only will you not be the greatest, you won't be there. Unless you become like this little child. This is not a call to accept Jesus. This is not a call to say that children are sinless. None of that whatsoever. Rather, it's a call to baptism. Unless you are baptized like the little child, you will by no means enter it. See, it's by the Word that we are baptized. Just as, the, just as the angels are sent to herald to Mary and to defeat Satan, so the Word of God is sent to us so that we would have faith and we would believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Because at the end of the day, it's the one who sins that does the defeating. What does our scripture say? That our, our, that our names are written in the Lamb's book of life and that it's by the blood of the Lamb that, the, that Satan is, is defeated and that we are brought into the family and into the kingdom of God. So we praise and laud all of the angels, particularly the archangels, the, the, the coolest of all the angels. The ones that come to fight. The one that prepares to fight on our behalf. The ones that we cannot see. The ones that go face to face with Satan, with death and temptation on our behalf every single day. So when one of, us, when one of our loved ones die, we do not become angels. For Christ has us as little children already brought into, the he brought into heavens to be with Christ forever. The Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world brought to Him. We have to remember that that little child that's been brought into heaven was protected every single day by the angels. The angels are, ta are, are, are tasked by the Word of God and sent by the Word of God. You are rescued by the Word of God and brought into heaven by the Word of God. That is faith. And that is the thing that binds us to Christ. And if we are bound to Christ, we are bound to heaven. And if we are bound to heaven, we are bound to the heavenly hosts. And if we're bound to the heavenly host, we are protected now, today, this very moment. And so we, as little children, I'm so great to see all of our little children here today that that we have examples of how we need to be how we need to be that we need to humble ourselves believe in Christ and that he comforts us and he sends angels to fight on our behalf and so today we give thanks and we laud Angels and the archangels, St. Michael, St. Gabriel, and for the ones who, who, who are with us every single day. But if we are to laud them, we also must laud the word that God himself used to send them. And we know from John 1, when God sends the word, he sends Christ. And if he sends Christ, he sends faith. And if he sends faith, he sends us to be little children, faithful, innocent, 
people, forgiven by the cross of Christ, brought into his wounds as little children, and then taken out as Christians to be brought into heaven on the day of our death. Thanks be to God from St. Michael, for St. Gabriel, for all of the angels, but particularly for Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God for him who gives us the faith that surpasses all understanding. And may we pray, continuously pray, that the tongue of the devil remain to be pierced and that the spear of St. Michael remain snugly in his brain, that he would think on this every single day. These children belong to Jesus. Amen. And now may the peace that surpasses all human understanding keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Mm -hmm.